Greetings and welcome to another episode of Itching the Boat. This is yours truly, Caleb Crump. And today, 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 tonight, 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 it is Christmas Day. And I am so honored to have these wonderful veterans here on the show. I'm going to let them introduce themselves because they know exactly how to say their names. And starting with other people. I am Jewel Padre, Vietnam veteran, 1968 to 1972, and I am 74 years old, an Air Force veteran. I'm Clarence Colbert, Colonel Retired, um, 67. I served in the Army. I was, uh, went in from 1977 to uh, November 2005. I'm William Nelson. I'm a United States Navy veteran. I joined the United States Navy in 1965 as an aviation cadet. And I served until uh, January 1st, 1971. Wow, what an incredible thing. Ladies and gentlemen, so I want to first of all give honor to Clarence and his Merry wife, Christmas. Jane. Merry we are Christmas. inside of their house on Christmas. Clarence, thank you for having us. And thank you. For having all the vibe. And also, his wife, Jane, cooked an incredible meal. I got me some good soul food, some sweet potatoes, some collard greens, cornbread, etc. But what, what, what we want is we want the veterans to, because many people don't know, oftentimes, a lot of times, the new generation does not understand the value that these veterans have done in order to be able to secure our freedoms and what our freedom is all about. So I'm going to let each of them just kind of expand on uh, what they feel about in terms of their service to the military and how it, it has impacted today and what new generations should understand in terms of the importance of being a veteran. I think the importance of being a veteran is that, uh, being a veteran is the fact that it gives an individual, be they male or female, the opportunity to become an upstanding man or woman. I will say that uh, my, four, my four years in the military uh, allowed me to become or assisted me in becoming the man that I am today and the four years and two years in reserve that I spent in, in, in the military were a blessing to me. I was proud to save, uh, to serve the country that uh, that I live in, and I, I think the, the 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 millennials of today, if they're trying to find a way to participate in the environment, and 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 haven't been able to find an avenue, the military is the way for them to go. Yes, sir. Yes, and you served on Vietnam. Right? Yeah, I am a Vietnam veteran. Wow, wow. So thank you for your service, mm -hmm. Colonel Klein. Well, I would tell them that freedom is not free. And in order to serve, to properly serve, uh, I would recommend anyone to go into the military. The opportunities are uh, uh, abound. No ifs and ands about it. When I went in, I knew that I wanted to serve. My dad was a um, former uh, military veteran as well, served in the Korean War as well as um, um, uh, World War II, served under General MacArthur. So that cornerstone for going into the military was set from um, uh, my home upbringing in Alexandria, Louisiana. Now, if you want, as the young folks today, if they want to have the opportunities, the opportunities are there about. Anything that you want to be, the military has that opportunities in order to excel. But you want to be able to be disciplined, uh, be able to lead as well as follow orders, as well as continue to train, whether it's mentally, physically, uh, and then continue education in order to excel. And also too, don't forget when you go in, duty on a country. Duty on a country, yes sir, that's awesome. You, Good evening. Uh, my name is William Nelson. <clears throat> I'm the senior citizen in this crowd. That's I'm correct. also a veteran of the United States Navy. Uh, from, served from 1965 to the 1st of January 1971. Um, my ambition in joining the Navy was to become an aviator, a Navy pilot. Went through pilot training or started pilot training, did not finish. Uh, subsequently was assigned to Vietnam um, in a clandestine type operation. Uh, recon and um, counterinsurgency work. I'm the son of a World War II veteran. All my uncles were uh, military veterans of World War II in combat. Um, 
my time in Vietnam, my time in the United States uh, as an officer, uh, re inculcated and, and uh, established the values that I hold today, and they reinforce the things that my uncles and my father had told me. For any young person today seeing this video, if you are looking for a purpose in your life, if you are looking for an opportunity to serve your country, talk to a recruit, use your talents. We need you. Not to go to war, but to be a leader and set the example for the people that are going to follow you in the military. Wow, that's awesome. That is awesome. And also, we want to bring in Representative Jane Paldrell. Can you come on in? We want, we want to bring, we are in her home. She's the one that, Representative, we want to invite you. Stand beside your husband, Clarence, there. And uh, just want to just allow you to, anything you want to say to the veterans or. Well, first of all, Happy holidays to each of the vets. And a happy holiday to our nation's veterans. Certainly we couldn't do this if it were not for veterans like the three of these. And so, um, you know, our country is, we're able to do what we do in our country because of the military. And sometimes folks take it for granted. Did you know that, um, you know, it's just the way it is. No, it's not just the way it is. It is like this because there were a lot of individuals that served with these three on foreign soil and who didn't make it home, you know, yes. and who are not here yes. to this day yes. because of something they suffered yes. in defense of this country and serving for this country. Yes. But they were sincere about the country that we now live in. Yes, and that's awesome. Uh, President, as you were talking, I was thinking about what President Reagan said. President Reagan said, no generation has fought greater for freedom than this generation right Correct. now. And so we just honor each of you, Bill, Colonel Clarence, and as well as Jewel. Uh, we honor each of you and thank you. And thank also, you. Representative Padrell, we thank you for having us in your home. The meal was delicious. Thank uh, any, you. Anybody you guys want to say hello to, send a shout out, out to all the veterans around the world, uh, yeah. people in the hospital, yeah. the families, etc. What I'd like to say to all of the veterans who are away from their families, be their wife and kids or their mothers and fathers or sisters and brothers, if the good Lord blesses you, hopefully this will be the last Christmas that you have to spend away from your family and friends. So God bless you and Merry Christmas. Yeah. To all the veterans, God bless, be with you, keep God in your business, and keep the faith that you'll come home safe. I can't do better than what these fellows just said, so I'll say to my Navy and Marine Corps comrades, next year you've got to beat Army. <laughs> no way! <laughs> all right, a big shout out, out to all our military veterans and as well as their families all around the world. Happy holidays. God bless you from Itch and Avoda.